Join us as we journey to the top of the world. We took a 15-day cruise to Northern Europe to reach the northernmost city of the world. The cruise left Hamburg, Germany and went to Molde, Norway. Then we reached Tromsø, Norway, and then all the way up to Longyearbyen. It is the northernmost settlement of the world. Then we went down to Hanesvåg, Norway, back down to Bergen, over to Kristiansand, then Skagen, Denmark. We embarked on a MSE Preziosa in Hamburg, Germany. The port was highly streamlined and organized with no lines. The very first thing we like to do when we get on the cruise ship is explore. We are on deck 15 where the aquapartic is located. The cruise wasn't sold out and I believe it was at 80% capacity so it looks a little empty. But we're usually the first people on the ship. The MSC Preziosa was built in 2013 but refurbished in 2021 so it is a well seasoned ship. Atriums are the centerpieces of all cruise ships. It's there to impress you as you first come in. And this one didn't disappoint. Although it's a few years old and has dated colors, it is immaculate, organized, and still modern. Here's Noemi looking cute in her little winter gear. Let's take a quick tour around the ship as we wait on our cabin. As I said, we like to explore as soon as we get on the ship. Most people run straight to the buffet, but it's fun to look around the ship without passengers. It's always lovely when the live music is playing in the atrium or plaza. Here's the covered pool area with three jacuzzis. They were used almost every day. There's something special about cold weather and a warm jacuzzi. Now in the Aurora Spa, it's very comfortable and relaxed. If you like the video so far, please subscribe. It'll help our channel grow. The Galaxy Sushi Restaurant is on the 16th floor. It is the second specialty restaurant along with the Butcher's Cut. The Galaxy Disco is one of the best places to hang out if you're looking for a quiet place that overlooks the ship center. At night, this area turns into a quiet disco dance floor. There is a large infinity adult pool on the aft of the ship. The Preziosa comes with one slide, which is fine because there weren't many kids on the cruise and the weather was too cold to use it. The Safari Lounge is a nice place to relax during the day and dance to a variety of music at night. Then it was time to go and find our main dining room, the Golden Lobster. We like to get there early, find our table, and talk to the maitre d' if any changes are needed to be made. Our room was ready around 2 p.m. We had an interior cabin and our cabin steward surprised us with a little towel elephant which reminded me of carnival cruises. There is a large casino where passengers try their luck. The El Dorado and Green Sacks are two music lounges with laid back atmosphere. It was time to depart the beauty, beautiful city of Hamburg. We found Hamburg very welcoming and accepting to tourists, has lots to offer and is very safe. Of course, I had to try the hamburger to make the Hamburg joke. We prefer to look for authentic German food restaurants. At first it was a challenge to find one, but finally we found Das Dorf, where we had some seasonal white asparagus and schnitzel. If you're from Germany, would you agree that finding authentic restaurants is becoming harder? The Preziosa's theater was well laid out and offered great seats from every angle. 
The multi-talented entertainers were exceptional, and we could tell that they were experienced. They had a great show every night, from start to finish, engaging the crowd with their fantastic energy and talent. After the first sea day, we reached Mold, Norway. Noemi and I usually walk to the center, center of the city if it's not too far. Mold is a small coastal town in Romsdal on the west coast of Norway. It is known for some of the popular attractions which include in the town hall square that stands a bronze statue of the Rose Maiden surrounded by a dancing fountain. On the other side of the fjord, they say there are 222 mountain peaks, but I'm not sure. I only counted 221. Just kidding. The bridge. And now we are ready for the baptism. Siamo pronti per il battesimo. Quindi una fila qua, a line over here, and Neptune is ready to baptize everybody for the crossing of the Arctic Circle. Venga qua Neptuno. After a mold, the ship passed the Arctic Circle, so there was a huge party. It was a lot of fun when King Neptune baptized everyone with Cool Whip. Do other cruise ships do the same thing? If anyone knows, please let me know in the comments below. If you're still watching, please subscribe and hit that like button. It'll help our channel out a lot. Thank you. Here's our first polar bear sighting. After crossing the Arctic Circle, we reached our second port in Norway, Tromsø. The beautiful city here has a great view from the ship. If you look from the distance, you can see the colossal ski ramps that's coming up right here. It is the largest urban area in northern Norway with the third largest north of the Arctic Circle anywhere in the world. Noemi and I took a shuttle from the ship to the center of town. As we were disembarking, we walked through a Welcome to Tromsø tent and this troll museum poster caught my eye. We had just finished two great troll movies on Netflix. So we had to stop by the museum in town. Norway is famous for its troll legends and they are believed to be mythical creatures that live all around but are hidden from humans. There's plenty of stop shops to enjoy in town and we found a lot of souvenirs to take home. We also found this little troll village in the store which reminds me of some people we, I went to school with. We found a troll museum and enjoyed learning about the different types of trolls. Noemi is making a wish with the troll wish. After another day at sea, we finally reached the port that I was most excited about. It is the reason why we booked this cruise in the first place. It's Longyearbyen, Norway. It's the world's northernmost settlement with a population greater than a thousand. Currently their population is around 2300 and is said that there is more polar bears than humans. Usually you would have to book an expensive high-end luxury cruise or expedition cruise to reach Longenbjörn. MSC only had two itineraries to visit Longenbjörn this year, so we wanted to take advantage of this opportunity. The name Longenbjörn means Long Year Town. Here are the interesting facts about Longenbjörn. No one is allowed to be born or die in Svabog Longenbjörn. Due to the remote 
Due to the remote location, women have to go to mainland Norway to give birth. No one can be buried there because the permafrost would prevent them from decomposing. You can stay as long as you want without a visa. You just need to have a source of income. You can't leave city limits without a firearm due to polar bears. And last, the sun doesn't the sun disappears for four months of the year. It was June and the temperature was around 37 degrees that day. We went through the center of town and as you get to the center you will find there's a lot of shopping opportunities. Here's one nice thing I noticed. A lot of the shops only sold primarily essential cold weather gear, not a lot of cheap tourist knickknack things and I appreciated that. The Arctic town has many bragging rights for the world's northernmost everything from the northernmost schools, churches, stores, breweries, you kind of get it. There are so many interesting facts that make this place unique. In addition to world-class wildlife viewing, there are many fascinating historical sites to be explored. With the varied landscape including tidewater glaciers, mountain ranges, flowering tundra, polar deserts, and huge ice sheets, Savad is undoubtedly one of the world's premier destinations for nature photography. We were told that we missed Tom Cruise just by, by a week as he was finishing filming Mission Impossible Part 2. They have one grocery store just like any other place except for there's a sign at the front door reminding you to leave your firearm bar by the front door. I love the normalcy of having a parking lot full of snowmobiles. There is a fantastic museum here as well, describing Svalbard's long history. And on our way back to the port, we had to stop by the northernmost local brewery in the world to taste the different beers and buy one of the t-shirts for bragging rights. After another fun day at sea, as you can tell I love sea days, we reach Hannesvag. It is beautiful and a photographer's dream. It serves as the ideal base for those eager to reach Northgate because it offers an abundance of hotels and is just less than an hour away by car. They are known for their northernmost point of European mainland. The community is also known for its seafood restaurants, especially its famous Norwegian King Crab. Here's a little restaurant we found just outside the port. We had a great local beer and of course the Norwegian King Crab was delicious. As I said, it's a picturesque community, beautiful photographer's dream. Remember, please subscribe and let us know if you have any questions in the comments. We found a walking path that would take us up to the top of the mountain. That would give you breathtaking panoramic views of the city. We cruise a lot and we always ask ourselves, would we come back and stay longer? This is one of those places that we would definitely want to return to. Next is Bergen. It is known for the capital of the fjords, the top of the El Recon looking, overlooking the sea islands, mountains and fjords. You can understand why it's called that. There are so many things to do here. It's definitely one of those places we will have to come back and spend more time in. From the port, we walk to these beautiful houses with cobblestone sidewalks. The city is full of art and great shopping. The Bergen Wharf is one of the Bergen's main UNESCO attractions. You will find a fairy tale scene with a lot of variety of stores and cool passages in between them. Make sure you peek inside the buildings to discover some of the crooked and curved walls. As you can see here in this bar, all the walls are leaning. 
This place is a UNESCO Heritage website. This place is a UNESCO Heritage World Site. A lot of cruisers will make a beeline straight to this harbor because it is a must-see attraction for the area. Christensen, Norway is the southernmost point of Norway. When we first got to the port to look around, we thought it was just another industrial port, but as we were starting to walk toward the city, we found a stunning harbor where fresh seafood is brought in daily. We really enjoyed lunch here because it was the fresh catch of the day. There's always something to do here with free weekly concerts downtown in the summertime. Our last port was Skagen, Denmark. It's located on the northernmost tip of Denmark. It's a beautiful seaside town and one of those places I would definitely like to come back to visit it. Skagen, or Skane, is known worldwide for its beautiful museums and beaches. The walk from the port to town is about two miles and is very easy, but they do have bicycles right outside of the port and I highly recommend renting one. We love the city resort-like pristine feeling with red roofs and yellow buildings all around. Lots of shopping and great food can be found, including this interesting food truck with all sorts of unusual sausages and hot dogs. We found museums dedicated to famous local artists. It's also fun to find unique museums such as Denmark's friendliest teddy bear museum where each and every one of the small and large teddy bears tells a unique tale. As we walked to the beach, we encountered something we first thought was some sort of catapult. We discovered it was a type of lighthouse called a Viperfet. And it has a mechanical lever that has a light in a basket that would mark the main route for Danish waters. In the afternoon when we were walking back, the city streets were alive and vibrant with restaurants, local breweries, and bands. Noemi found this cool bike she wants me to rent the next time we're there so I can ride her around it. She always reminds me that she takes a lot more steps than I do. As always, this is the saddest part of all of our cruises. Thank you for watching, safe travels, keep cruising, and have many thankful journeys.